this is Hani from Digital Logic with you again for another episode of Under the Macro. Today's episode, we're going to look at the Cinegears Single Axis Digital Wireless Lens Control System. Previously, we looked at the Multi Axis System, and today we're going to look at the Single. What makes this system quite unique is the way they've incorporated the receiver inside the motor driver. So typically, you would have something like this Bartek with a Hayden motor would have a a receiver in a separate box that you'd power up and then you'd connect the cable from this to the motor to basically drive the motor and control it. With the Cinegears uh, incorporated unit it basically looks like this and has a little antenna there with a receiver built in and this drives this is the driver itself and it's incorporated basically so these these two pair up and from these from these two alone once you send power to this you, you're ready to go. So we've got one installed here at the moment on, on the area mirror. Uh, we've powered it up via the Limo cable that comes with it to a DTAP and we're running that off the battery plate here. And again, the feature set and the electronics on both the single and the multi are pretty much identical. So in terms of what we looked at last time where you could preset uh, focus marks, that's the same on this. Uh, the way you could do the automatic calibration is the same. The way you could do the lens remapping on the range is the same. And one added feature this has with this button here, you can change the direction just by pressing that button and we'll quickly go through, the, through that as well. So again, you know, to charge it, you use the uh, mini USB to charge it. Um, similar sort of runtime, the 20 hours battery runtime. Um, similar sort of build quality, CNC machined. Um, as you can see here, it's just got the one knob for the speed for the presets because it's only controlling the one axis. Um, it has the same thing where you can turn it on and then you can press it again to get a light here. So if you're working in dark rooms to see where your marks are. So again, uh, almost the same theme running through this controller as, as the previous multi-axis one as well. So the first thing we'll, we'll do, we'll go through like as if we were just setting this up for the first time. You've connected the lens, we've run a power cable, I've just turned this on. You basically press the set button and the A button to do an automatic calibration. So if I press them and hold for three seconds, and again as mentioned before, you can see it's starting to do the min, min and max points of that range. The same controls or, or, or the directions of the configuration page, again etched in on the back of the control. So quite handy on set. So it's gone and done that now and basically I can control that zoom on that lens quite easily. So that's the automatic calibration and 99% of the time that's what you're going to do. The next feature that we'll look at quickly is the ability to set uh, a preset mark. So the first thing I'm going to go through is basically presetting some of these presets. So let's just say I want to set B to 10 feet. If I move this to 10 feet, where is 10 feet? There. So you can see it's on 10 feet. I'm going to set that at B. I just press and hold for three seconds. All the lights will go orange. That's recorded now. I'll then move it back down to say five feet there. And I'll hold the A button for three seconds and the lights will flash. That's recorded now. I've, I've set A and B. The speed then affects the movement between these marks. If I press B, it's gone to 10 feet. You can see that line is spot on. If I go to A, it'll go back to 5 feet. Spot on. If I go, you now adjust the speed to max, press B. You can see how quick it goes to 10 feet. Press A again, goes back to 5 feet. So it's quite a quick, uh, fast and reliable system. To get out of the presets, because this doesn't work now while it's in the preset modes, just press and hold the A button and then it disappears and now all the lights are off and now I've got control again. And obviously when I've got control this speed button doesn't have any effect. It's how quickly I move my hands on the dial is how quickly the uh, lens reacts. The other thing we have with this model as well, even uh, like the multi-axis one, there's a port at the bottom here for triggering cameras. So a run-stop cable. Uh, we've got the uh, ARRI one connected here. So again I can hit record Hopefully we've got media in this camera and you'll be able to see that record light go from green to red. Uh, do we have, there we go. So you can see it there recording. If I press it again, stop, 
So again, all working from that. So it's pretty cool, just like the other ones. I'll just show that again. Record. I might bring it here, have a look. If I press record again, it stops again. Again, the range is about 100 metres, very similar, same as the multi-axis. The other thing you can do, if you notice here, if I turn my hand clockwise, you can see the lens going up direction. Let's just say I want to do the reverse of that. Simple, just press that button there once. Now move it down. Now it's the opposite. I'm moving up, the lens is going down. Moving down, the lens is going up. Press it again. Now it's the opposite. Go up, it's going up. Go down, it's going down. Really simple to use. So, you know, we're really impressed with the build quality. We're impressed with the usability and the ease of, of function with it. Um, there's really not a lot to say. They come as a little kit with all the different uh, gearings, as we said previously, uh, that normally come with a, the standard cable to power is the DTAP. There's other, other options as well. All the uh, run-stop cables are options. You basically ask for Canon or RED or ARRI, and those cables can be provided. Um, and these are available today uh, for sales and as well as rentals. So uh, thank you for watching again another episode of Under the Macro. And if you want to come in and have a play with these units, feel free to come in and talk to us. Thank you for watching. Thank you.